sir. Let's do it. Yes, sir. And now, the 2K Sports pregame show, brought to you by Sprite. Hey, Ernie Johnson here with Shaquille O'Neal. We welcome you to 2K Sports. Tonight, it'll be the Detroit Pistons going up against the Brooklyn Nets. You take a look at the Nets. They struggled in this matchup last season. Only one win for them through four games. They'd like to make a statement tonight. You talk about a guy who's a tough cover, Shaq. Joe Johnson, 6'7", 240 shooting guard. Ernie, he has a big frame, but you know what? It's not about power with him. It's about skill and finesse. He's a great shooter. He's a great ball handler. At his size, he can get any shot he wants. Is it about finesse for you, too? Of course it is. Yeah, me too. I know the feeling. You know uh, what they used to call me? What did they used to the call you? The big Barishnikov. <laughs> My balletic feet work. <laughs> that's, that's unbelievable, literally. Uh, let's go courtside. Thanks for joining us. suburban Detroit, we proudly bring you the Pistons at the Palace of Auburn Hills. For the Detroit Pistons, they come in off a good outing against the Timberwolves in Minnesota. And they put it all together in that game. It added up to a phenomenal win. You know, their percentage from long range that game was off the charts. It seemed like every time the home crowd got going, they just took the wind out. sales with a, another three-point barrage yeah those bombs were really falling we've got a chance here to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for this one so for Brooklyn now down low Kevin Garnett and Brooke Lopez Darren Williams and Joe Johnson at the one and two and it's Bogdanovich in at the three spot Kevin Garnett one of the all-time great defensive leaders in the NBA fiery vocal demanding his impact
to that end is more than just his imposing frame. It's the effect he has on his teammates as well. Lopez, no luck. Nets on defense. Their last game, a win against Boston. Looking to carry it into this one. It seemed like they hit every big shot they had in that game. Kevin, their, their offense was clicking, but really clutch in big moments. That's ideally the way you want it to unfold on the road, Steve. Don't even give the fans a chance to get into the game. And Garnett, the 2007-2008 Defensive Player of the Year. Yeah, and most folks might remember that was the same year he helped Boston win the NBA title and all defensive team selection more times than we can count. He clearly is one of the all-time greats. Here's Meeks. A 23-point game for him in the win against the Timberwolves in Minneapolis. And he really competed defensively, too. Kevin, three steals. Now oh, here's Jennings. Shot clock at six. He kicks it to Butler. Let's it go from the wing. Rebound, Brooklyn. You just assume he's going to knock those down when he's as open as he was there. Johnson with it. Karan Butler covering. Can't hit from the elbow. Well, I think he had all the space he needed. He just couldn't find the bottom of the net. Jennings drives in. Roman dishes to Jennings. to Drummond. The shot's good. Jennings making the play. For Brooklyn, they've gone 0 of 3 from the field to start the game. Butler with the block. The shot's good from Lopez. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Jennings kicks to Butler. Here's Meeks. The kick outside to Butler. Bangs home the trifecta. Good open look, and he splashes home the three. Nets trail by five. Let's now go to Doris Burke over across the way, who spoke with Lionel Hollins, and uh, Doris, take it away. We discussed their game plan defensively, and he mentioned that controlling Greg Monroe will be crucial. He said Monroe is a guy who can score inside, rebounds well, and his passing really sets him apart. Their offense runs best when it goes through his hands, so pressuring him and staying vigilant is essential for us. Guys, can they slow him down? Thanks again, Doris. Here is Williams, following the basket by Brandon Jennings. That one goes. Count it. Williams has got his first points in this one. Well, they just gave him two points. Defensively, you're going to have to tighten things up here. That's that's not a good sign. Jennings passes to Monroe. Butler kicks to Monroe. Pistons passing it around. Williams against Jennings. Here's Meeks. Here's Monroe. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. They've worked hard and created great chances for themselves in this opening quarter. Well, if they can match that effort at the defensive end, look out. Now here's Williams. He had 13 points in the win against the Celtics in Boston. Deflects the pass. Now here's Johnson. Williams kicks to Johnson. In to Brooke Lopez. Here's Garnett. Pass to Bogdanovich. Feeds it to Johnson. And there's the call on Andre Drummond. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. On the wing, Williams. He's guarded by Jennings. 
Clock at six. And Williams, here we go. Outside Butler. Monroe sets a screen for Butler. Passes it to Jennings. The feed to Drummond. Lopez with the steal. Williams dishes to Garnett. And the pass to Lopez. Williams with the ball. And Jennings picks him up defensively. Guys, that's simply superb. Ball pressure, a run out, and then a dunk in transition. Exactly, Clark, what they wanted. The aggressive defense to lead to. Yeah, points in transition. Yeah, that's why you want to make the other team feel uncomfortable handling the ball because you can get easy points out of it at the other end. Fantastic pass. He turned that one into a pretty easy basket for his teammate. The Pistons struggled last year at home, and there were a number of factors that you could point to, but one of them was they weren't able to stretch the floor because they lacked perimeter shooting. Throws down the alley slam. 